Hello and welcome. This is Jamie from WP825. In this video, I am going to show you in details about Edpin test module by WP825. Before jumping into the main video, let's navigate to Edpinify modules manager and scroll down a little bit. You will see Edpin pages module. If it's disabled, make sure it's enabled and then click on set. Now navigate to our admin page option. This is the area where you have to add your admin pages. Let's just click on this add new button and open in a new tab. Let's name our admin page personal admin. Hit publish. Let's design our admin page using Elementor. You can use any page builder like Visual Composer, Bridge, Oxygen, any page builder you prefer or use any shortcode too. Let's just import our master addons landing page. Let's select the first one and then click on insert button. Within a few seconds, it will be inserted in your website. If you are master addons user, then you can easily create this type of landing page using the template library of master addons. And let's do some customization. Uh, all let's just keep everything as default and then click on this update button. Let's navigate to our admin page and reload. Yes, you can see here is the personal admin page that we have just created. Now we have a lot of things to do. We need to customize the icon and inside this editor, you can see the icon. Just click on this add icon button and from our icon library, you can select any of them. Let's click on this rocket one, update, and then navigate to our dashboard. As you can see, the icon is changed. And now if I click, and it's redirecting me to the main admin pages that we just designed using Elementor. Not only the icon, but you can also choose your menu type. For example, if you like to insert your custom admin pages insert post media or any main menu then just select menu type as a sub menu then select your desired menu for example post and let's change the icon for this time as a gift box and then update now let's navigate to our dashboard and you can see that admin page is gone from our main menu and it's inside our post. If I click on this personal admin and you can see this is our admin page. Okay, that's all about this menu attribute option panel. And here I'm going to show you some display options. You can see remove page title, just enable it if you like to disable your this admin page title. And then remove page margin. As you can see, there are a little gap between your page content and the menu sidebar if you don't like this margin then just check this and the notice if you like your admin page as a clean always then check remove admin notices and update let's just reload and you can see no margin no title no unwanted notices everything is gone and this is our custom admin page by WP825. I hope you got a clear idea on how to work with this admin page module by WP825. If you still have any question regarding this module, feel free to comment in this video or get in touch with us via our support forum. We will try our best to assist you.